What's up? I'm a panda. Good morning. <laughs> Day number two, coffee, yogurt, newspaper. Read the comics, throw it out. That's how I roll. Mike uh, booked us here last night, like the good man that he is, and we were on the first floor. First floor hotel rooms scare me. Basically, I just look out the window at the parking lot and I take my hearing aids out when I sleep. I'm like, somebody could easily murder me right now. I'm very easy to murder in the middle of the night. So second floor or higher from here on out, Mike. Uh, I got a lot of enemies out there. All right, remember to push the red button. Oh, oh yeah. that door is oh, open. Shit. Oh, man. Yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> Mike, where are we at? Highway 280 in the San Jose area, heading to San Francisco. And I just heard him in the loud RV right now. Pretty impressed with myself. Good morning, everybody. A, B, C, D, E. D. E. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Little girls all business. So we're gonna start with the sign A. So we have just this here with a finger up like this. So A. And then B we have our palm oh. X. Let's do it. A. <laughs> a. B. B. C. C. D. D. E. D. E. Uh, little girl's name is Paris. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you, Paris. So we're ready for the lesson tomorrow? What's the name of the instructor tomorrow? Ali. Ali? Yeah. So we know the language, or we know the alphabet for Ali. Let's try to learn numbers yeah. next. One. Two. Taking it nice and slow. I oh, see, that's where it gets you, that's yeah. Right Otherwise, it's a W. One. 11, 12, 13, not gonna go there. Oh, look at this smug look at the end. He knew we didn't get it. Did oh. you see that look? He's like, bet you didn't get that, did ya? That guy was all business though. I did like, but it went so quick. I almost like how she was like, we're gonna go back and do it a million times because I know you probably don't understand. That guy thought we were smart. All right, we're in San Francisco right now, if you guys wanna know. Oh, we're in San Fran? Yeah. I love San Francisco. One of my favorite cities. Yeah? Yeah, I love coming here. <laughs> I know it's expensive to live here, but... You ever been to Alcatraz? No, I haven't been yet. You? Oh, yeah. Is it cool? It was very, very interesting, yeah. I got my picture taken on a toilet in the cell. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Rappers try to brag about accomplishments, but nothing you've been dropping yet astonishes. Yeah. yeah. Next shit I'm about to say is obvious, but criticism's worth some more than compliments. Yeah. Yeah. We're living at a different speed, trying to sprout a money tree. We started out with just a seed. I think we're on now. Can you hear me? Yeah. So you just hit, you don't have to hit the pairing button every time, you just hit the mic button. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. What we're doing right now, this is the Aerobie Frisbee, my favorite thing in the entire world. And this thing flies. It can go for like a kilometer if you're good enough. Uh, so we're testing out how far we can throw it right now without getting it stuck in a tree. And we're also testing out the Roger pen. Jill's wearing a Roger pen around her neck right now. And I can hear her perfectly in my hearing aid at this distance. What distance do you think this is right now? A couple hundred feet? Oh, uh, yeah. Can hear you perfectly. Roger pen's working great. Frisbee coming at you. Uh, it's got that curve on it. I gotta bend it. Ah, found a cool pine cone over here. Look at that. Nice little pine cone. Yeah. There's no way that the only video footage we're gonna have of me playing aerobi is me doing bad throw after bad throw. I will get this. I'm a perfectionist. Oh yeah. Gonna hit the tree. Ooh. Tree branch. As you can see, I had this squished up into my closet for a while, so the frisbee's a little bent here. That's why all my throws are going errant. It's not me, it's a frisbee. San Francisco State University, Cesar Chavez Student Center. After I'm done with it, they're gonna call it the DJ Demer Student Center, sponsored by Phonak. I'm performing here. That's uh, next Wednesday, this Wednesday, I suppose. So come on out. Wednesday, 
8 p.m. San Francisco State University in the depot. Is that what it's called? Yep. In the depot with all the fun arcades and all that stuff. Bring your frisbee. Seriously, let's play frisbee. There's no way the only evidence I'm going to have of me playing frisbee is not doing it well. Oh my god, I can't tell you. And I'm not just saying this because the tour is sponsored by Fona. That Roger pen is a lifesaver. Like right now, all I'm hearing is talk for me. Yeah? Yeah, it's just like, you're like right in my head right now. Right, no road noise? Uh, I hear the road noise, but it's a lot less than if the, if the mic wasn't right up to your mouth there. Those hearing aids, is it so, do you have uh, selective settings? Uh, there's a bunch of different, I have four different settings on my phone. The first one is, uh, I don't know what it's called, I think just normal setting. So it's kind of like taking in all the input and deciding what I need to hear. So attempting to drown out background noise and then making sure I can hear speech better and doing all those things in real time. And then I have a speech and noise setting. So that one's focusing on the speech. Whoever's talking in front of me, it's making sure I hear that and drowning out all the background noise. And then the second setting I have is, I think it's called speech and noise two. It might have a different name, but that's basically like if I'm in a really loud environment, that's drowning out pretty much all of the peripheral noise and making sure like I'm just hearing like the sliver of sound coming from right in front of me. And then I have telecoil, which is like for telephone and stuff like that, or connecting to like an FM system. And then the final one I have is just, it takes off all of the filters, I guess you could call them, and uh, just gives me all the sound unfiltered. Unless I'm in a really loud place, I usually just kind of keep it on the unfiltered one and just let my brain do the work. Uh -huh. So like the students, when they were going from class to class, there'd be music that would play for four minutes. And so at the beginning of every day, I would get on the announcement and let everybody know, hey everybody, it's DJ DJ here, or DJ Squared for the Mathematically Inclined. And uh, here are your songs for the day. And I would let everybody know. But I was going through a real big audio slave kick at the time, so my high school got a lot of audio slave at that time. So I forgot all about that until he passed away. I was like, oh man, I used to listen to so much audio slave. The song of the day today, Like a Stone by Audio Slave. Rest in peace, Chris Cornell. You brought me so many good memories. And you too, right, Mike? Oh yeah, Soundgarden. Soundgarden, man. You got Black Hole Sun on here? Yeah, it's in there. Coming up next, but the song of the day today, like a stone featuring a killer guitar solo from my man Tom Morello. Oh, we just missed it, damn. Until the day he was gone. Song of the day, like a stone, audio slave. Mm. And <laughs> we go into Gary Newman. Let's give the people what they want here. Oh, I know exactly. Oh, shimmy, shimmy, coca wall, listen to a pound. Light it up and take a puff, pass it to me now. Going down, down, baby. Yo, street in a Range Rover, street sweeper, baby. Cock ready to let it go. Shimmy, shimmy, coca wall. What's up, everybody? Yeah, we're live. We got internet on the RV. It's a brave new world. Day two of the Here to Here tour. Live video stop. <laughs> I'm gonna do it from my phone so it can use data if that happens. I hope that didn't publish. We're live from the RV, day two of the Here to Here comedy tour. We are uh, approaching Sacramento in California. We drove all day yesterday, stayed the night in San Jose. Now we're driving on the beautiful, what are we on here, Highway 80, Mike? We're getting off of 80 on the 505, good door. Every morning, 9 a.m., depending on what time zone we're in, uh, breakfast with DJ, morning delight, we're calling it. And uh, that's gonna be on the Hearing Like Me Facebook channel. Oh yeah, we're gonna get decorations today. Anybody uh, have any suggestions for what we should get? I brought, I'll show you what we brought already. I brought a Himalayan salt lamp. Gotta have my salt lamp, bro. You wanna lick it? Yeah, you're gonna lick it? No? You sure? Ooh, Sarah Opperstini? Opperstini? I don't, I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing your name, Sarah. Uh, Sarah said, get Halloween decorations. It's the first weekend of Halloween. What should I be for Halloween? I, oh, geez. Good idea, Sarah. Uh, we should get Halloween directions. <laughs> Direction. Anybody know the way to Halloween? 
uh, decorations. And anybody know what I should be for Halloween? I believe Halloween is south. Okay, well we're going north, so I guess we're going away from Halloween. Damn. Mike, Halloween is south, man. It's not north, we're driving the wrong way. Be a panda, everyone loves pandas. I'll be a panda, although I'd get real hot. We're going into Target. What are we going into Target for? To pimp out the bus. Oh yeah, we're pimping out the bus. I just follow along, really. Uh, also, we might look at Halloween costumes, I guess. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I thought it was November today when I woke up. <laughs> for real. Not that, like, not like I thought it was the end of the tour. I just forgot what month it was. Yesterday, when I recorded the beginning of my podcast, I said it was November 29th. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> we should stop and see a doctor. Oh my God, Justin. You want to get matching Snuggies? For sure. Yeah? I mean it though. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's get Matt, okay. Spider-Man also, that's a large uh, Oh, Spider-Man would be pretty sweet. I think I might go with Spider-Man over you Unicorn, but... Pink sheep or Hello Kitty? Hello Kitty. <laughs> this could actually be like the Halloween costume too. Right? Oh, that's Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Nope. I'm not not into Harry like Potter. Cats? I like cats. <laughs> I don't have a problem with them. Uh, bingo, baby. Panda. Panda. Give the people what they want. <laughs> Swag. What do you think? Out here? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Out. You think I should do panda though? <laughs> this feels right. But I think the panda, I should listen. Listen to the people. I'm nothing if not a man of the people. What's up? I'm a panda. Mama said that it was okay. Mama said that it was quite alright. Mama said that it was okay. Mama said that it was quite alright. I kind of people had a bed for the night. And it was okay. Mama told us we were good kids. And daddy told us never listen to the ones Point the nasty fingers and making fun Cause we were good kids Which, uh, I'm endangered Are you ready? I believe so That's I believe creepy. I'm still on the endangered list <laughs> You're <so> creepy, man <laughs> I'm just chilling, man, you're the weirdo Day two of the tour was very fun. We went and got decorations for the bus, the RV. So you can see we got a plant. We got life. We got life here. You know a plant can change your mood. You feeling better, Mike? Hey, man. I, I love Mr. Plant. Mr. <laughs> plant is going to thrive. He's going to thrive in this thrive In the yes. sink. It's a natural habitat of the yes. sink. Uh, it's been a wonderful day. Day two. Getting used to life on the bus. And uh, I can't wait. I'm getting all sappy here because I feel like it's only been two days and we already... You feel like a family yet, Justin? Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, Can you imagine after a month? Yeah, we're, we're really going to want to punch each other. No, uh, no, no. Well, I guess that's a family. <laughs> family. They do punch each yeah. other. Out of love. Violent love. So that's the end of day two. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. A lot of driving. Mike's up for it, though. Oh, yeah. No problems. No problems. And uh, apparently it's a beautiful drive tomorrow. My favorite one of the whole trip. Yes. Incredible. So we'll see you tomorrow and uh, life is good. This is a rare moment of sincerity. Life is good.